the floods and mudslides have damaged households and communities in several provinces across Thailand. But with fears that the flooding situation may be a repeat of the massive floods in 2011, are there any lessons learned from the past? And during the past month, over 141,000 households in 30 provinces have been affected by the flooding situation. And according to the Department of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation, 10 of these provinces, including Chiang Rai, Sukhothai, Pisnulok, and Nong Khai, remain inundated. At the same time, the flooding situation has so far damaged nearly 1.4 million hectares of farmland across Thailand, accounting for 45.6 billion baht of damage. And this is based on analysis by Grungsi Research. And although the research center is confident that the flooding situation this year won't be as severe as in 2011, but if we look more closely, flood management and disaster prevention in Thailand remain problematic. An expert from Chiang Mai University pointed out six issues that need to be fixed urgently, and one of the remaining problems is the warning systems. For example, in Thailand, there are as many as five main agencies responsible for warning the public about the flooding situation and mudslides. However, these agencies tend to issue separate warnings. The expert feels that the government should focus more on developing the warning systems as well as data collection, not only just constructing new dams to tackle the floods. And most importantly, they should always consider the worst case scenario. And ever since the massive floods of 2011, the government has allocated a massive amount of taxpayers' money to flood management. If we only take last year's budget, for example, about 53 billion baht was allocated to flood management. And most of that money, as you can see, is heavily focused on construction, such as dams and reservoirs, and very little on planning, data collection and analysis, and even management.